All right, today we're going to talk about uh, creating function tables. So first you need to start with a function. So say we have the function y equals 3x minus 2. So first we need to draw a table. And we're going to have inputs and outputs. So our input is our x, our output is our y. And then we just pick some numbers and we want some both positive and negative. So let's do negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And we are going to input these numbers into our function and see what we get out. Alright, so now I'm going to input each of these numbers into our function. So I got y equals 3 times negative 1 minus 2. So now I just work this out. y equals 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 minus 2. You can change that to plus negative 2. So y equals negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. So our first output is negative 5. Now I repeat the process for the other one. So I got y equals 3 times 0 minus 2. So y equals 3 times 0 is 0 minus 2. Again, I can change that to plus negative. So 0 plus negative 2 equals negative 2. Do it two more times. y equals 3 times 1 minus 2. So y equals 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2. So y equals 3 minus 2 is 1. And then our last one, we do y equals 3 times 2 minus 2. So y equals 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2. And y equals 6 minus 2 is 4. So now we have a completed function table. Alright, so when I said earlier that uh, the advantage of creating these tables yourself is that you get to pick the numbers. So when we're looking at this function, y equals 1 third x plus 1, uh, you get to pick the numbers. So since I'm dealing with a fraction of 1 third, uh, to make my life easier, I'm going to pick multiples of 3 for my inputs because I know if I find 1 third of a multiple of 3, I'm going to get a whole number. So instead of doing negative 1, 0, 1, 2 like I did last time, I'm going to do negative 3, 0, 3, and 6. So again, I start putting these numbers into my function table or into my function so y equals one third times negative three plus one so one third of three is one and then negative times a positive is negative so one third of negative three is going to equal negative one plus one and negative one plus one is going to equal zero so my first value there is zero then I repeat the process, y equals 1 third times 0 plus 1. So y equals 1 third of 0 is still 0. So that's 0 plus 1. So y equals 1. So next I got y equals 1 third of 3 plus 1. So y equals 1 third of 3 would be 1 plus 1, so y equals 2. And then my last one, y equals 1 third of 6 plus 1. So y equals 1 third of 6, that's like 6 divided by 3, which is 2, plus 1. So y equals 2 plus 1 is 3. So now I have a completed function table.